Welcome everybody to the first annual Rough Riders Brewers Guild bus tour. We are starting here at the Tampa Bay Brewery and uh, Todd is the uh, manager here and we are from here we're going to St. Pete Brewery then to the Hofbrauer House and then Cage Brewery and back to Tampa Bay Brewery to party till midnight. All right Adam here we are at the Brewers Guild Rough Rider deal and there's beer flowing people have shown up we got some things going on. How do you feel about this so uh, far? Outstanding time. It's always a good time to be around my Rough Rider brothers, having good beers and uh, having a great time. AJ, I think we experimented with this last year and it looks like it's a real hit this year. Tell us about what's going on. Well, it's definitely a hit. You have to remember that this is a dream of mine to bring the Brewers Guild into the major leagues. So we find that what we're going to have this year is a little notch up from what we did last year. Should be a lot of fun. What do you think we're talking about? I don't about? know. I thought it's a surprise. <laughs> we're just ambushing you right on the scene. I feel ambushed. <laughs> if it's wet, if it's cold, if it's drinkable, it's my favorite stop. But I want to give a big shout out to Tampa Bay Brewing. Uh, they sponsored us and they basically took care of us all along the way. And without my in introduction with uh, the staff at Tampa Bay Brewing, we never could have had the Brewers Guild. I think that we're going to get on a bus and we're going to travel to a couple bars and have a few drinks and have some food and uh, have some camaraderie uh, with the Rough Riders and it'll be wonderful. We're here with John Doble of the Tampa Bay Brewing Company. John is one of the founders and also uh, the proprietor of this establishment. John, tell us a little bit about this place. Well, Jeff, we uh, founded uh, this place downtown in Ybor City uh, 21 and a half years ago. Uh, my wife and I, our two sons, the four of us uh, founded it, and uh, we were among the first to be founded in the state. Uh, and now we've had the good fortune of being able to uh, put our second place up here in the uh, Oldsmar uh, West Chase area. Uh, we have a big production brewery here, as you can see, uh, and the two class restaurants. The, all of my uh, eight core beers are brewed here, and then the rotational, seasonal, one-off beers are all brewed downtown in, in Ybor City at our original location. What, what prompted all of this for you? What started? What lit the match that make, made all this happen? You know, we said, well, why don't we start a, a home brew supply store? We all know how to brew beer. So we started the Brew Shack on Waters Avenue. And uh, he started to do research. He realized what a great thing this was, that craft beer was going to be big. And we opened up. Uh, I got the first SBA loan in America for a brewery restaurant. That's awesome. We finished our first year as of uh, August 6th, this past August Congratulations. 6th. Thank you. And so now, of course, the, the big task is to uh, pay off the loan. Of course. It's always the big task, <laughs> isn't yes, it? it is. Well, I can tell you, we're here with the Rough Riders, and the Rough Riders, uh, really, you're kicking off the, the whole thing. Uh, we were talking to AJ with the Rough Riders a little bit earlier. He said you guys are actually responsible for helping us uh, start the conversation to even do what is now known as the Rough Riders Brewers Guild Bus Tour, the first annual, by the way, and we're wow. starting right here in this beautiful West Chase location of yours, and we really want to thank you for allowing us to come here and helping us uh, kick this thing off, and it's just a beautiful location and just a fine, fine establishment you have here. We're proud to be here. Thanks so much, Jeff. It's been a long time coming. It's been a long time coming.
company with Neil. Neil, tell us how long you've been in business, what's your favorite beer, what do you love about beer? <laughs> so uh, we've been in business for almost three years. Uh, and April will be our third year. We're one of the original five in uh, five breweries in St. Pete. My personal favorite beer that we produce is going to be our Imperial Red. Uh, it is an 8% beer. Nice hot profile to it. Yeah, that's got a nice, nice ring to it. Oh, yeah. Um, and then... So tell us how long you've been here. Uh, I've, been, I've been working with the company for about two years. Okay. Um, and as far as being a, a, an in-house brew pub, yeah. tell us about the experience. Tell us about the journey. When did you start? Who gave you the idea? Uh, well, so the owners came up with the idea. Our one owner, Tom Williams, uh, he does finance and he's helped finance over 200 breweries across the U.S. Our other, bre our other brewer and head owner is uh, John McCracken. He used to be a chef and got into home brewing up in Vermont. And eventually he moved down here. Uh, John uh, moved down here, started working for a Tampa, Tampa beer company. Uh, and then Switch to uh, he ran into Tom, and that's how this idea came in. It was it happened at a local brewery called Ale and the Witch, uh, where they met, and then they kind of just grew from there. This is a small startup company. We don't have like a bunch, bunch of investors behind us trying to make it go. But it's a great local hometown story. Oh, it's, Thank it's you, great. Neil. No We're Thank here you. at the St. Pete Brewing Company, and on to the next event. Hey man, here we are at Cage Brewing over here in St. Petersburg. I'm sitting here with the lovely Jenny. She's going to tell us a little bit about Cage Brewing and what they do around here. So tell us a little bit about this place and how it's got its name and what you guys might be famous for. Sure. So Cage Brewing, uh, we're famous for our Mango Bob IPA and our Peanut Butter Stout, I would say, are our two best-selling beers we got here at Cage. But what's your favorite? My favorite's actually the double IPA with mango. I call it my first love. Uh, <laughs> I always go back to it, try a bunch of different beers out, but always end up going back to the double IPA with mango. How many of the beers that you guys serve behind the bar are actually brewed right here in this little brewery? All of the beers are brewed here, but we have a cider from Keel and Curly, and then we got a kombucha on tap as well from Mother Kombucha. Now this is very interesting. We've been to several other breweries tonight because we're on the Rough Rider Brew Bus Tour, but this is the most interesting and most aesthetically pleasing. Oh, I really like you. the way you have all the bags stacked in here and everything. It really, it really <laughs> looks cool. The brewery looks cool. The cage around it really looks cool. We've probably got about 60 Rough Riders out here enjoying your beverages. If you had one beverage they should all try tonight, what would that be? Uh, definitely the Mango IPA. That's pretty, pretty awesome. Um, our slogan is Unleash the Flavor, so we got a lot of different flavored beers that you guys can try tonight. Well, that's fantastic. We're going to go make that recommendation right now. Mike and I are going to go over there and maybe try one ourselves. We appreciate it, Jenny, for your time tonight. Yeah, We're awesome. going to enjoy ourselves here at the cage. Thank you. All right, Bob, we're on the fourth or fifth, maybe the 15th stop on the Rough Rider Brewmaster Tour. What do you got to say for yourself? Damn, is it over?
time on.